Britain by eight is time now. And as one half of the iconic duo Dollar, Teresa Bazaar gave us a decade of brilliant pop hits from 1978 Shooting Star through to their inspired cover of Erasure's Ola Moore in 1988, with some perfectly produced Trevor Horn gems in between. Now living in Sydney, Australia, Teresa is returning to the UK in September for a mini tour after decades out the limelight. Uh, Teresa Bazaar's Dollar will feature new singing partner Stephen Fox, backed by a full live band. The tour promises to be a sparkly and glamorous pure pop party. Kicking off in Milton Keynes on September the 20th. Going to Leeds, Southampton, Gloucester, Wolverhampton, Chesterfield, London, Glasgow and Burnley. Tickets are on sale now. We'll hear from Teresa in a moment. But first, here's Mirror Mirror. Teresa Bazaar, and this is my 80s. My first choice is The Look of Love by ABC. After having worked with Trevor Horn, I was very, very privileged to be in the studio and had a preview of listening to this track, and oh my goodness, it's everything colliding at once, isn't it? The genius of Trevor Horn, the magnificence of Martin Fry and his voice, and the music and the song. Well, yes, we all swooned, didn't we? But the actual song itself, no wonder it was such a massive hit around the world. And I love it to this day, and I knew when I heard it there and then, standing in the studio, that it would stand the test of time. I love it. It's wonderful. My second choice is Never Gonna Give You Up, Rick Astley. The Stock Aiken Waterman Machine, goodness me, a fantastic record. I loved it the first time I heard it. And I was so fortunate that we were in Germany recording a Top of the Pops kind of Christmas show. And Rick was on the show and the Banana Rama girls. And after the show, we were all in the bar around the piano and Rick started playing it and I got to do backups with the Banana Rama girls and it was extraordinary hearing his voice and just being part of that moment. It's something I'll never forget. My third choice is Respect by Erasure. Vince Clark can do no wrong in my world. He's one of my heroes. And Andy Bell, his voice and his performance on stage is just riveting. The keyboard sounds, the arrangement, the production, it all fits for me. And it's my go-to happy place. Whenever I'm a bit down, I'll put it on and start dancing around the kitchen and go to myself, this makes the world okay because this pop record is awesome and it's something that I will probably be listening to as long as I'm still on this planet. My ultimate eight is choices, Every Breath You Take by The Police. I remember first hearing this whilst watching the video, which was in black and white, and mesmerized, captivated. That song, Sting's voice, 
the image that the video portrayed. It was so different. It was so new and forward thinking. They were kind of just wanted to be cool and chilled, but the lyrics and the melody was just heart wrenching and haunting. I've loved that record for many, many, many years. It's in my top 10 of all time, and it's very close to my heart. Mm -hmm.